Good morning. La Casa Grande. If you're interested in checking La Casa Grande out for yourself, they have a YouTube channel, La Casa Grande Cigars. Uh, they're in the Bronx, New York, of course. If you don't know where the Bronx are, or is, rather. Anyway, check these brothers out, man. If you want to swing by, just give them a shout out. Check out the merchandise. They're renowned, I mean, super famous for their hand rolled cigars. And you can even have like a wedding or some kind of an event, and you can have uh, them come out and they will provide cigars and they will hand roll the cigars right there, right there on the spot. So not only do you get a really good cigar at the end result of it, have a good smoke, but you also get a demonstration and uh, you know, some visual enter entertainment. I gotta get up there and see these guys sometime in person, man. These, these cigars are really, really, really good. Anyway, it's a nice, peaceful, relaxing Sunday morning. Just got back from some riding. Beautiful day for it. Now it's getting later in the day. We've been out for a little while. Rob's bike's running pretty good. Running pretty good, isn't it? That's awesome. Very awesome. We still need to do some more work to it, but we just wanted to get out here and enjoy some of the weather, man. He ain't been on a bike for a while. Does it feel good, Rob? Yeah, it feels awesome. Be back on a bike months. riding? Yeah. Just clears your free. head? Yeah, free wind in the hair, free riding. We went for a bit of a ride. We're going to try and get some more ride, get another ride in maybe before it gets dark. Can we go for another ride? Hell yeah. We got, uh, of course, you know my bike. Then we got Rob's bike. He's doing some cleanup on it. Running. Finally. Hopefully it stays running. But we'll probably have to get a stator, though, right? Yeah, we'll probably have to get a stator. Uh, we'll see how it goes. At least we'll get to ride for a couple of days, you know what I mean? Yeah, we'll, we'll do some riding. Both of us are losing shape and condition. Yeah. So we haven't been working out. <laughs> oh, it's horrible, isn't it? Yeah. It's terrible. Terrible, terrible. I must have lost 20 pounds. Muscle sucks. At yeah. Least my condition's turned to shit. I'm just trying to keep my weight up, man. I've been eating all kind of yeah. whatever well, bullshit. I've, I've been, in, like, uh, at first I wasn't eating shit, and then I started eating, 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 and now it's like uh, I'm, I'm trying to level out, you know what I mean? Eat more and more, but... So I ain't on nothing down. either. I've been off this yeah. whole time. I've been off for like six weeks. Me now. too. I've been like five, six weeks. So. Yeah, same. About the same. Because I figured, just, why watch That's exactly out? what because, I figured. You know, it. This I'm was an opportune you know, time just to shut it, it down. Working out. Yeah. And uh, uh, see how I was feeling. I just started doing push-ups. And, and I am I feeling like tired. Bored. I feel more yeah, run down. I that's am. for sure, man. I am definitely. Mm. But. Anyway, we're gonna go get some more wind. Yeah. A little bit more. Feel free, feel good. You know, Hope you guys had a good weekend. Good Hope you guys got some rotten yeah. in. Stay safe. So, had some fun today, got some riding in, the weather was great, now it's cooling off, which feels nice. Didn't get a lot done around here today, got a little bit done. I'm going to have to be busy tomorrow and get a lot done, because I have to go to work the day after tomorrow. So, you know, this, this virus bullshit, um, this has been going on long enough now, and I've been out of work long enough now. 
been on vacation long enough now, you know, imposed vacation, basically, that um, my read on it, I'm kind of disappointed. You know, I know that I'm, I'm better prepared for any kind of situation like this than most people, but there are a lot of people that are much better prepared than I am. And I'm kind of disappointed to discover that I'm not that prepared because the basic things, there's more to it. Um, there are different levels. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like uh, I don't know how to explain it, but okay, like this is like a level, like the first level, okay? We went and basically locked down, you know, confined pretty much in our own space for weeks. And some people are going to continue. There are a lot of people out there scared shitless. I've seen a lot of them. Christ, they got things to the degree that there are actually people out there that are snitching or they're tattletaling on their neighbors because they're terrified. They're telling on their own neighbors. You're calling the government and telling on your own neighbors. You're telling on your own community, right? Your own. So that's the basics. That's the, you know, the, the, the preeminent community in most people's lives concerns the people that are surrounding them where they live their neighborhood. So these people are, are snitching on their neighbors to the government. You know, what, how much does the government do for you? You think, who do you think is going to be there for you? Most likely, more likely to be there for you. A neighbor or the government, elected officials. Who are you going to put your faith in if you had to? But I understand that's how terrified some people are. There are still people out there who are so terrified that uh, they're, they're telling on people in their community that are violating any of these, you know, um, ordinances. They're not wearing a mask or they're uh, not practicing social distancing and, you know, well enough. Or, I mean, I haven't seen that around here, but I have seen some frightened people around here when I've gone to the store and out now. It's worse now as far as in people's minds than it was when it seemed like it should have been really bad, you know, earlier on. But uh, this, 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 you know, first level, you know, of a kind of a lockdown, um, I realized that to this degree, there are certain things that are going to, that I need to have more of in my life to maintain my own sanity and happiness and, and then part of that is I need the ability to really train more so I need to have my head in the right space like I trained a little bit during this time but really not that much I need to really find the motivation uh, you know now I'm settled into it but I'm going back to work now and we'll see where that goes from there but they're predicting this thing is going to reemerge in the fall now, will it reemerge in the fall, or are they positioned to have like some kind of huge, gigantic scare so that they can have mail-in ballots, maybe? I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, now, we have Brother Joseph in New York, and he says it's a cluster bomb there. He said, you know, he's even worried about it. He's, he's, he lives in the Bronx, and he's in New York, and uh, he, he says it's bad. And uh, while I don't know anybody directly that actually has been confirmed to have it, you know, hell, I think I might have had it already, like, back in November. Uh, myself and the two other people I worked with at the time. But, you know, that's maybe, maybe not. I've never, I haven't been tested. But Brother Joseph knows two people confirmed that had it. Neither one were hospitalized, and they're both over it now. So, you know, I don't know. I don't have enough direct, firsthand experience of it around me. So is it really all they make it out to be, or is it mostly bullshit and uh, hyperbole? Don't know. Don't know what to tell you. It would not surprise me if it were pure hyperbole and exaggerated. It wouldn't surprise me a bit because of some ulterior motive or agenda. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. But uh, anyway, point is, if things are going to loosen up now, we're going to go kind of back to normal. Of course. How, how, how much we don't go back to normal is kind of going to elucidate the point of how much fear has already been, been uh, firmly planted in so many people, you know. I mean, there are people that are protesting because they're tired of this bullshit being locked down. And, and you know, obviously these people 
um, have been around enough people that they feel like it's it's bullshit. You know, I don't know what to say. It is. I'm. I, I'm. I don't fear it like a lot of people do, but that might be foolhardy of me. I don't know. You only speak for me. You know what I mean? I don't have enough firsthand personal experience with this damn thing. So who knows what the truth is? Who knows what the truth is? And no, that's not conspiracy theory shit. That's based on having lived in this world, you know, 57 years, going on 58 years now, and factually being aware that my government has lied to me, you know, on more than one occasion. <laughs> Sometimes about some big shit, heavy shit, so why wouldn't they lie to me now? Right? If their motivation was substantial enough for them to do so, why wouldn't they lie to me now or exaggerate? You know? What's the saying? Never let a good uh, not pandemic, but similar to that, never let a good pandemic go to waste, or similar to that, I'm sure you've heard, heard what I'm trying to think of, I can't think of it word for word. Um, like I said, one thing I know, and, and I would advise everybody else out there, the same thing, you know, if it's going to ease up some, and we're going to go a little bit back to normal, hopefully completely back to normal as far as I'm concerned, then... Uh, if this, if they're going to spring it on us again, or if it's really going to come back around in the fall, whatever it may be, if we're going to end up locked down again in the fall, going through the same bullshit, economy plummeting, no work, you know, all this kind of crap, then uh, for many people, then, and I'll tell you another thing, if it's real, I don't want to be working doing my job. I don't want to have contact with all everybody, and their brother's vehicles, climbing in and out of the car, all these cars and shit. If it's that if it's to be feared to that degree, then yeah, that's a hot, that's a risk to me that I would rather avoid. You know, if it's bullshit, then it doesn't matter anyway, right? So, but I feel confident enough now that I'm good to go back to work. I'm going to go back to work Tuesday, a couple of days. But if this thing, if we're going to go through this again, they're already setting us up for it. If we're going to go through this thing again in the fall, you know, be it legit or be it some manufactured fear-mongering, whatever the deal is, if it, if we go through this again, I would like to be better prepared. And what I, what I mean by that is, for me, it's a big deal. Training and working out's a big deal. So I want to be in a better position. Um, and if not physically, because like I said, I actually have enough basic things that I should be able to do what I need to do. Mentally, I have to get into that place where if the, if the gyms reopen, if they do, um, and I go back to you know, hitting it, rocking the sock and hitting it hard in the gym. I, I don't want it to get too far out of my mind that this may be a temporary thing. And I may have to switch gears and be able to get it up for working at home again, training at home. You know, that's the thing. I think it's more of a mentality. In, in my case, I don't think, and maybe in a lot of you, your, your folks as well, I don't, it's not so much that I, I lack the equipment that I need, the essentials and basics to train, it's that I, I, I don't have my mindset in the right place where I can commit to that so fully, you know, as if I can just walk in the gym and just have it all laying there waiting for me, you know. So I need to get that frame of mind right. I can, I'm not going to do another several weeks of just, uh, you know, not really training as I'm accustomed to train. You know, it's not good for my mental health. It's not good for my physical or spiritual health. Yeah, you know, you know here all, you know, I'm biding my time, staying in air, trying to stay in half-ass condition, but my condition is pretty much shit compared to what it was. Um, and I'll put a little shot in here of what it was prior to this, you know, so you can see the difference. 241? 220. 220. Damn, I'm too tired. I'm at 120 pounds. Just yelling at me. I'm 198. Are you serious? Watch. The busters, they're going to be understanding I'm 198. <laughs> yeah, 198. My arms are all the way down to like 17 inches, see? I ain't got a pump yet. But uh, if this is going to happen again, 
you know, and they're already kind of more or less saying, yeah, the fall, expect this, we're going to go through this again, then um, you got to have your head in the right place for that and be prepared for that, at least I do, and I'm going to have to knuckle down and I'm going to have to train uh, like it's the only option. I'm going to have to train like, uh, like I don't have access to gyms anymore, not like it's a temporary thing because we don't know what the hell's going on, right? Anyway, that's it for now, man. I'm going to close out with some uh, some pictures and shots from uh, you know, previous times, and a little music, a little montage or some shit, I don't know.